Hello and welcome to the end of the 2020 fantasy football year in the Pretty Princesses League. I am your champion, Ryan Brazel. Team Depression. With my beautiful trophy, Jack so aptly named Patricia. And my cat. And I just want to take some time today on a beautiful Tuesday night to go through and Thank each and every one of y'all for a successful season for me, not for y'all. And um, just kind of uh, go out and say something special about everybody. First, I'd like to kind of talk up myself a little bit. I only had Christian McCaffrey for three weeks this year. He went down week two, came back week nine, I think, and then was done the rest of the year. And I still won. Didn't matter, you know. Any other person. Jack and Saquon Barkley. Any other person loses their first round running back and they're going to be done for the year. Negative record probably. Not doing too hot. But uh, didn't really seem to affect me any. I just got better. Um, also made some good trades, you know. Boosted up the team, got some good draft picks, got rid of all my late round draft picks pretty much. And uh, yeah, so let's just go through and break down the year by going through last place to first. So we'll start off with Will Sellers. Will, we kicked your brother out of the league because he was bad. Didn't pay attention really, but he came in last place. Uh, no, seventh place two years in a row. But he did win the championship two years ago, but you know. Seventh place two years in a row, not very good. And it was like, wow, how, how are we going to replace having a bad sellers at, in the cellar, you know, of last place? And then you stepped up. You said, you know what, I'll do it. I will be the sellers in the cellar. And you did. You went, won like two games all year long. You tanked right there at the end extra hard because Braxton was making a push for that pick. And um, your reward is... Ezekiel Elliott, probably. I don't really know who else you would take with the first pick. I think it's going to be Zeke at the top. That's probably it. Um, so kudos. You tanked for Zeke. Ah, eh. You know, good job. Uh, you also gave me Calvin Ridley for I don't think anything. Um, and he was really big in me beating Jack and Heath in the playoffs. So I appreciate that. Um, Overall, you didn't really help me out more than that. and um, But you did leave me some drama kind of going on on the board because Jack was always texting me like, oh, I'm working on a trade with Will. And obviously not really any of them worked out. But, uh, yeah, thanks for playing, buddy. Let's move on to Braxton. Braxton, Will was trying to take. He was trading his best players for picks, trying his hardest to lose, and you were somehow worse than him. You won more games, but you scored a lot less points. And um, you just suck at fantasy football, man. It's nothing about preparation. Like you say, oh, I didn't do any research. None of us do any research. Okay, you think Petey and Austin are doing research? No. They rolled out of bed that, hey, I'm taking this guy. Highest ADP. You know, that's how we do this draft. Best player available. You know, it's fantasy football. Don't overthink it. I think that's your issue. You're overthinking it. You're awful at it. And uh, hopefully next year gets better. I don't really know if it will. Um, I would like to thank you for taking my... Holy shit. Anyway, <laughs> I would like to thank you for taking my uh, people I was about to cut, Mike Davis, AJ Green, and just giving me draft picks for them because I was going to cut them. You had a high, the highest waiver, I think, so you could have just picked them up. And... Uh, so yeah, I appreciate that. That was pretty good of you. Let's move on to Jack. Jack didn't really do anything wrong to me this year. Um, he would not trade with me since, as you can see on this trophy right here, 2014, me and him have the split title that year. I trade raped him and um, hasn't traded with me since. So I would like to thank Jack for giving me bad fantasy advice all year long. Um, he did tell me to pick up pretty much anyone other than Alexander Madison and start him, but my gut told me Madison started him. 
here we are holding a glass of whiskey and a championship trophy. So Jack basically just, you know, last year was a flash in the pan kind of thing. I don't expect you to ever win another championship. And um, where you're at in the standings is pretty solid. I think that's where you'll probably be forever and ever and ever and ever. Now I'll move on to PD. PD, you are the most boring person in our league right now. It's not really, I'm not trying to offend you, but your name never changed. It was always PD's team, which again, not against the rules, completely fine. Just kind of boring. Uh, you made trades when you could, but they weren't great trades. They weren't bad trades. You just kind of existed. And, you know, you scored a lot of points at the beginning of the year, and then you ended up scoring a decent amount of points, but still first-round exit to the playoffs. Um, but you got to the playoffs, so there's that. Hopefully next year is better for you. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about it. Um, have you guys ever seen the video where it's like a kid, and he's going, wait a second, who are you? That kid totally looks like Petey, like 100%. Maybe not now that, like, he literally looks like Austin, but a few years ago, like, when I first met him, yeah, that kid, 100%. So now I'll move on to the other brother in the turkey leg competition. Um, Austin, again, also kind of boring, but he didn't just exist. He made some moves. Austin's the only one in our league that made a move near the trade deadline to try to push this way to up into a championship team, all right? He picked up a Zeke from me, Zeke and Mike Evans, gave up a second round pick for it, got rid of James Conner, the smartest move anyone made all year long, okay? Because I ended up having to drop that motherfucker. James Conner was the worst running back I could have traded for, and Austin got rid of him and picked up Zeke and Mike Evans in exchange, only had to get rid of a second round pick to do it. Um, and Mike Evans dropped like 39 in Austin's playoff loss in the second round. So... I think Zeke only did like 10, but you know, at least one of them was putting up big numbers. Basically, Austin, you made some good moves. Um, wasn't quite your year, but you tried. You know, keep trading away those good draft picks and do not keep Ezekiel Elliott. Keep Derrick Henry. I don't know. I, I feel like I'm going to have to say this again. I'm just saying it now. If you don't keep Derrick Henry, I made that mistake last year. It was so dumb. Just keep Derrick Henry. Now move on to Heath. Uh, Heath didn't really do anything special this year. He rattled off nine wins in a row. Yeah, congrats for you. Actually, that's a league record. I only got eight before I lost my first game last year. So, league record, nine wins in a row. Congrats, buddy. But you lost in the first round of the playoffs. The first seed has a, has a curse on it. I don't think they've won a game in a while now. They've definitely not made it to the championship in a long time. Um... So I knew it was going to happen as soon as Heath won the first seed, as soon as he locked it up. I knew someone was going to be in the first round. Didn't know if I'd be the one beating him in the first round, but I did, um, you know, by a good, good amount, like 10 pole points, like crushed. Not even a question. And uh, yeah, Heath, you, you suck at fantasy football. Um, nope. Let that be a lesson for you, buddy. Nobody gets to the championship three years in a row in our league. Bum. I uh, love you, buddy. Anyway, let's move on to Steven. I don't really, I can't really roast Steven too much. He picked up Zach's team after Zach was a little bitch baby and when they left the league. Um, which, again, I still don't know what the hell happened. I still don't know. But anyway, um, so yeah, Steven picked up Slack. Took that uh, team, made it just a little bit worse with a trade with Jack, but took it to the championship. And if it weren't for the Saints running back room getting COVID, maybe Steven's the one holding this beautiful trophy, Patricia. But instead, it's me. I'd like to thank Alvin Kamara for getting COVID. I'd like to thank uh, Dalvin Cook's dad for dying, allowing me to pick up Alexander Madison and start him. And yeah, I'd like to thank Steven for just taking that spot up. You know, hope you enjoy getting to the championship. Hope you enjoy trying to figure out who you're going to keep. That team is stacked. And yeah, overall, it's been a fun year, guys. You all suck at fantasy football. I'm the best, hence the trophy, the crown, the whiskey, the robe. You know, 
Maybe if you guys were a little bit better at fantasy football, this could be you in front of a beautiful fireplace while your beautiful wife is cooking you dinner. Thanks. But unfortunately, it's not y'all. You all suck at fantasy football. The trophy's going right there on the mantle. You guys can suck it. Be looking out for some announcements about the league. I'm going to try something different this year. Um, and yeah, y'all have a great night.